Hi, I'm Patrick with the Mach-E vlog. We're sitting in a Mach-E, but this is not Blucifer Tucifer as you know, but we are sitting in this because we are at CES and we're gonna explore a lot of the cool stuff that's Mach-E related here, starting with this one. So the reason we're sitting in this one, we're at the BlackBerry slash QNX booth here in CES. And if you didn't know, QNX is the underlying, you know, magic software that's behind the, the displays that you see here on the Mach-E. And we have somebody here from QNX to tell us a little bit more about that. Hi. So indeed, so we are basically the foundation here for most of the domain. So we have, for example, on the left side, the domain, uh, the cluster domain where we provide the operating system underneath, and this is running under the safety um, critical uh, functionalities. Then on the middle, we have the infotainment, IVI, where we also provide the operating system, so Kinex OS. And on top of that, we also provide some uh, uh, functionalities mod module from uh, AMP, so acoustic management platform. Um, so this, we also have uh, additional feature, which are ADAS and Gateway, also running under our QNX OS. So for example, here we have some ADAS feature with uh, the camera, so it's a back rear camera. Uh, we are missing some uh, couple of cameras on the side, so we cannot reproduce the 360 view. And we have also features in the driver uh, assistance, like lane assist. We have also some camera here to detect if the uh, driver get distracted. Um, on the consolidation is also uh, part of the uh, software-defined vehicle, where people are consolidating co co underneath the cockpit, we will say, that will be the future where we have, for example, the merging of the cluster, infotainment, we could add also the, the gateways. So adding several, uh, ad consolidating everything into one SOC. So that's also the trend of uh, most of the OEM, which which will be the next step of consolidating everything into one SOC. Very cool. Well, thank you for sharing that. We're gonna move on and find yep. more cool Mach-E stuff. Sounds good. Thanks. And now I'm in Mobileye. They don't have a Mach-E here, but they have a lot of other technology on display. Behind me is like their RoboTaxi and a Zeker, which is a Chinese EV that they have here. But they are one of the leaders in ADAS technology. And if you didn't know, a lot of their tech is in the Mach-E, in Ford, it's in uh, Mercedes, BMW, like a lot of uh, manufacturers contract with Mobileye to use their chips or their cameras or a combination of those. Uh, let's walk over and I'll take a look and I'll show you what it actually looks like. So this is just an example of some of the equipment that is from Mobileye, some of the processing units as well down there on the end. You can't really see it here. I'll do a, a layover, I hope, with some, um, but basically that's the chips that they they produce. There's a camera. So these are the type of things that are going into various vehicles and you can see, uh, can't really see it, but on the cards it says like, uh, this camera here is uh, used by Volkswagen. The other one is Volkswagen and Audi. Uh, the, that board there is Advanced Driver's Assist, front-facing camera and uh, being used by Nissan. Over here, it uh, looks like this one. I'm not sure who's using that one. But, but you get the idea, like Mobileye is actually in a lot of vehicles and specifically it's behind, uh, the, the technology behind Blue Cruise, Intelligent Cruise Control in the Mach-E. We're gonna try to do an interview with them. We've, we've scheduled that for tomorrow. If we get that, we will also do a video specifically on Mobileye. They, like I said, they are truly one of the leaders in driver's assistance features. So in covering all of the Mach-E's at the show, we found this sweet Grabber Blue Mach-E. Obviously, you know, we have a sweet spot for this, but this one is wired up with a whole bunch of stuff. It's super interesting. And Arpan here is gonna tell us all about it. So what's going on with this? Hi, I'm Arpan from Intrepid Control System. We are from Troy, Michigan. We make in-vehicle networking tools for car companies. And here, what we, are, what we did, we, uh, we made a harness for the uh, Mach-E and we plugged in the Mach-E using our, one of our NeoY uh, vehicle interface. 
data logger and we're connected into the to our software so let me follow me and I'll show you guys what we did um, so here you can see the roll can bus data coming out of the car so here you can see everything that's happening inside the car so what we did we have a we have our harness connected to our device called Neowire Red 2. That device, uh, using the Ethernet connection, goes straight to the computer. In there, you can actually translate that data into a, into a meaningful data. So you can you can make your Mach-E cooler. You can reverse engineer your car. You can you can you can add features to your car that your normal OEM won't let you do. So you were actually telling me about one of those features. Um, it, it's kind of really cool. So someone was having problems telling that they were driving too fast, right? Yes. So uh, one of the one of the cool hack I seen people do uh, that was very meaningful. Uh, one guy made a feature for his wife because uh, she doesn't realize when she was going too fast in the highway. So every time the speed reaches like 60 miles an hour, he was able to uh, make a buzz a buzzing sound through our device. So this, she knows to slow it down and uh, and and look at the steering wheel, like the focus, like hey, uh, your car is going too fast. So so features like that you can you can do. You can even like make a make a mobile app to like hey, uh, can you roll down my window and it will roll down the windows. You can you, the the idea is endless because you have the direct connection to your Maki and you can you can do, uh, do do things that you cannot normally do with Maki if you have a physical access using NeoY Red 2. Uh, you can also connect to the cloud, you can also connect to the Bluetooth, you can also connect it to your own cell phone, you can do all sorts of stuff using NeoY Red 2. This, is, this device was for, for automotive uh, engineers, but if you are vehicle enthusiastic, you can also use this device uh, and, and do cool things. If you know how to reverse engineer, we also do classes on, oh, on how to how to use uh, how how to how to make canvas and and all sorts of that. So come stop by if you're in, uh, we are a worldwide company, but our headquarters is in Troy, Michigan. So if you want to take come to a, one of our free classes, feel free to come. And are they online as well? Uh, yes, they they're I hybrid. Uh, I prefer cool. to do it in person because you actually get to use the hardware. And if you do it online, you're just watching a YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you are a flashy person. I would totally want to take a class with you. I was going to ask that, though, because this is very daunting. There's a lot of information coming here, but it's also really exciting. Yeah. Like, that's some really cool potential. So if you guys are interested in this or if any of you hackers, I know there are a bunch of you out there, uh, let us know and let us know what you do to your Maki. I'd like to see that. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So in our next tour of Maki related stuff, this isn't a Maki -E front, but some of this technology from Magna is incorporated in the Maki, -E, and we were just learning it's going to be in it's sort of like consider it next level. Yeah, yeah. So the Maki -E has a front integration panel on it today. It's a polycarbonate panel. So if you imagine the Maki -E panel is approximately this large, and so now we can grow that panel to the entire front of the vehicle. And with these panels, we can actually start to incorporate the headlamps right into it. The Mach-E headlamps are separate from the panel today, but there's definitely the potential to grow that panel into the headlight area. And another thing that we have that's new compared to the Mach-E is breakthrough lighting. The panel is not lit on the Mach-E today. Uh, it has the lit logo, of course, it has the lit pony, uh, but we can do breakthrough lighting. So these can be um, and, and you had You had blue. And uh, they're, they're marking blue as like an autonomous? Yeah, it's kind of the industry, not yeah. standard yet, but yeah, for the autonomous, it's a cyan blue. I think that would be brilliant. Uh, and of course, in the Mach-E, it's called Blue Cruise. Yeah. And it'd be cool if you could light it up like I'm in Blue Cruise. Oh yeah, absolutely, that would be awesome. So yeah, we are we can absolutely enable that. And on this, something new too, on the Mach-E, we have uh, a surface active grill shutter. So on oh, either yeah. side, a lot of people don't realize this, they even own the Mach-E, the center portion of that bottom is a radar cover. So there's a radar behind that's an A surface radar cover and also has active grill shutter so they can open and close depending on your needs. So now what we can do is we can actually bend those surfaces. The farther forward those air shutters are, the more aero benefit you get. But then what you do is you start to lose some of the styling. On the, the Mach-E did a great job with styled veins for those active grill shutters. 
but now we're doing it one step further and we're actually bending the front of the vehicle. Yeah, that's actually really nice. It looks, uh, I, and to me, it seems like that might be a little bit more durable than the, those shutters, because it's a hinge versus we're just gonna pull it. Down. Yeah, actually this, even more durable, there's no hinge here. Yeah. So this is a solid piece and we're actually bending it. You can see in the corner arrow piece here, the Maki has a static uh, arrow in the front fender. Right. And now we can give this. Oh, so that's, guys, that yeah. was moving too. I didn't even notice. Yeah. So now what we can do is we get the styling benefit of a static panel with the arrow benefits of it opening. And there's no seam there. There's no hinge. There's not, there's nothing to interrupt that styling. So it's yeah. really, really exciting technology. Yeah, that is really cool. I'm looking forward to it. None of this is guaranteed to come to like whatever next generation Mach-E, but this technology will be coming to vehicles. And you guys work with not only Ford, but other manufacturers. We work with all the all manufacturers all over the world, yes. And, and we have a video coming or maybe released already just on Magna. If you don't know Magna, they are sort of like the secret behind the entire auto industry. Yeah, we're, uh, we're a pretty large company, about 170,000 employees now and we're really getting into all types of mobility. Everything from autonomy, traditional vehicles, some of the new mobility coming out. We've got a lot of the last mile delivery robots here to see. Yeah. So some really, really cool stuff from Magna right now. Well, thank you for sharing about Absolutely. Magna. Absolutely, I appreciate it. Nice talking to the you. The new fronts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Continuing our look at tech here at CES that is in the mach -E. We're here now in the Autel booth, but I'm doing a bit of a stretch with this one. Autel is not actually in your mach -E, but how it relates is, is like if you've ever had like your tires replaced or like swapped out with new uh, wheels and they needed new TPMS sensors, tire pressure monitoring system sensors, uh, Autel makes that type of stuff. They also may like if you had your windshield crack and you got it replaced by a company like Safelight, they have to recalibrate the cameras after the windshield is replaced. And it's possible that Autel made that equipment as well. They're very big in that type of area. They also make a lot of automotive diagnostic tools. So a lot of aftermarket service that can be done for the Mach-E, Autel can have a, a role in that. And we know Autel as well because we did a review of the Autel Maxi charger, fantastic device. And they make a bunch of other chargers, which is why they're here. They're showing off their level two chargers, their level three, uh, DC fast chargers, and they have a new uh, V to X charger that they are demoing here or have on display. And that's gonna be vehicle to home, vehicle to business. So that's why they're saying V to X, not V to grid, their own take on it. So we did a video on that. So take a look at that when it's actually released. We'll put that down in the comments below. And now we are at Here Technologies, which if you didn't know, go look in your Ford Pass app, go to the map page, uh, and you will see the Here logo down in the bottom right corner. That's because Here Technologies provides the mapping in Ford Pass, but in addition to that, they also provide the mapping technology that enables the, the blue zones and blue crews. So they are providing mapping to Ford to help enable blue crews. So anyways, that's what Here Technology does. They do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, we worked on another video specifically on Here Technologies that isn't specific to the Mach-E if you wanna watch that. I think that maybe all of the companies that we can find that are have that, that have technologies that are in the Mach-E. Uh, I may have missed things. This place is huge. CES is our, this is our first time and we're still sort of like figuring things out even though it's like our third day here. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed that like behind the scenes look at some of the technology that enables all of the features of the Mach-E. And I think it's really cool that all of these different companies have a little bit of something to contribute to what we love as a car, or at least I hope you love it. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think about this type of uh, content. Do you want to see more of this type of stuff, like behind the scenes, like how stuff works in the Mach-E? If so, just give this a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's okay. That's good feedback for us. And of course, always leave comments. And we got a jet flying overhead, so I'll talk really loud and just say, whatever you drive or fly, enjoy the ride.